What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to our very first episode right here of our Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. And yes, we are starting up in Pokemon Leaf Green because it's 10 years since we started this freaking channel right here. Me torturing your ears with the kind of a... Uh, uh, kind of tangents that I, I have and all that stuff. So as you can see right here, in the world which you are about to enter, you will embark on a grand adventure with you as the hero. Speak to people and check things wherever you go, be it towns, roads, or caves. Gather information and hints from every source. New paths will open to you helping people in need, overcoming challenges, and solving mysteries. At times, you will be challenged by others and attacked by wild creatures. Be brave and keep pushing on. Through your adventure, we hope that you will interact with all sorts of people and achieve personal growth. That is our biggest objective. Press A and let your adventure begin. That's right, guys. We're starting this right. We're going to do this right. That's right, guys. We're going to freaking do this right. Alrighty, so... What's up, Professor Oak? How you doing? Hello there! Glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. Bye bye, need rant email. But first, tell me a little bit about yourself. Ah, uh, well, I gotta tell you. I'm not really the coolest guy in the, in, the, in, the, in the shed and all that stuff. But you know, I'm cool. I'm really cool because a lot of people like me. Am I a boy or a girl? Yes, I am a boy. So, let's begin with your name. What is it? And, uh, well, you guys already know. It's me. It's me. It's GLD. It's Draven. And, uh, yeah, this game is giving me huge nostalgia because... Not because I played it 250 times. It's more of the fact that, you know, it's bringing me back to when I started this whole game. Started this whole channel for you guys. I'm like, uh, yeah, reliving the few things that I, I did right here. I was like so nervous of how to do these walkers and stuff. And this guy's like, right, so your name is Draven. Ah, this is my grandson. He's been your rival since you've been, uh, you were both babies. Hmm. What was his name now? <laughs> Worst grandpa ever. So let's go right ahead and uh, let's go right here and just name him Gary because you know what? Gary's been the norm right here. He's been a norm. He's been the regular uh, bad guy uh, anti antagonist and all that stuff. So yeah, his name is Gary. That's right. I remember now. His name is Gary. Okay, let's do this. Driven, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! That's right, we're shrunken, we're cool, we're calm, we're collected. We're gonna do this again. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, and uh, we are doing our Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough on my Gym Leader Draven channel in honor of our 10 year anniversary, which will be on December 19th. That's right, guys. Why are we starting it right now on January? Well, the main thing is this, guys. I've always wanted to redo my Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. I mean, it, it's it was the very first walkthrough that I've ever came out on YouTube. Obviously, I don't have it on my channel anymore because of uh, you know a few things that had gone by over the years. But as you guys already know, with the change comes a redemption. And my deal is this: I want to redeem myself in every single walkthrough that I've done or that I feel that I, I, I could do better on. And Pokemon Leaf Green is one of them right here. So uh, one big change right here now is that we're doing live com. That's right. We're going to be talking, playing. It's going to be awesome, guys. And the first things first, we're going to get ourselves our potion right here because uh, <laughs> we already know what's going to go on right here. So let's grab this potion right here. That's right. And uh, let's see. Now, will this affect our schedule for Pokemon Platinum or any other games that we're going to be going on? No, it's not. This, this, this walkthrough right here is a weekend only kind of thing so don't worry this walkthrough will be uploaded on the weekends only and let's talk to our mama right here he's like right all boys leave home someday uh it's a it says so on tv oh yes professor oak next door was looking for you now first things first i need to change the speed of the text right here because i can't stand the whole slow thing right here now i'm gonna change the frame uh, huh, you know what let's go with this one right here brings me back now pokemon leaf green 
Fire Red, some of my favorite games ever because it's a remake of the originals. On top of that, it just, uh, you know, it brings, again, like I said, it brings me back to the very first walkthrough that I ever did. It brings me back to the ideas, how I game planned it all, and yeah, it really didn't go as planned, but it's whatever. Now, here we are, Pallet Town, Shades of Your Journey Away, and, uh, our next door neighbor right here is Gary, so let's let's see if he's over, over here somewhere, I don't know. Here's his sister, Daisy. Hi, Draven! My brother Gary is out at Grandpa's lab. Okay, well, let's go find that sucker right there. Alrighty, okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and find this guy, see if he's in here. Maybe he's talking talk chop with uh, with uh, Professor Oak. Now let's go ahead and talk to him. He's like, what? It's only Draven? Gramps isn't around! Then where the hell is the old bastard? But as you can see, there's three Pokeballs waiting for us right there. And uh, we gotta go find Professor Oak, so let's go right ahead and just find him and stuff. And uh, and, and just talk to him. And, and, and be friends with him and all that stuff. And here we are going out to the grass, and here we see Oak says, Wait, don't go there. And he's like, It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. I uh, might as well come with him because he... He does know the lay of the land and all that stuff. I don't know. Whatever, he's just leading us right now. So let's go right ahead and uh, talk to this guy. He's like, Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Gary, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Draven. There are three Pokemon here. Ha ha ha. The Pokemon are held inside Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now, in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on and choose! And Gary's like, <laughs> Hey, Gramps, no fair. What about me? Be patient, Gary. You can only have one, too. Or, yeah, you can have one, too. My bad. <laughs> Again, I'm still, I'm still trying to uh, get myself better on the reading part, on the live comment, all that stuff, so <laughs> please forgive me on that stuff. So, anywho, we got three Pokemon, and you guys already know what, what Pokemon I'm going to select. This is in honor of the Pokemon uh, Leaf Green Walk that I started and, uh, well, obviously deleted and all that stuff. So we're going to go by the same book, except this time, Livecom and a few more edits here and there. That way you guys can watch this whole walkthrough in all its glory. So three Pokemon. We got Bulbasaur, the grass type Pokemon. It's a very, very easy Pokemon to actually, you know, raise. Then we got Squirtle. It's worth raising one. Very, very cool Pokemon. Very powerful Pokemon when it comes to, uh, you know, water types and all that stuff. It learns a lot of moves and stuff. And our favorite Pokemon right now, Charmander, is your choice. You should raise it patiently. So, Draven, are you claiming the fire Pokemon Charmander? You guys already know that this is one of my favorite Pokemon, so we might as well do that. Let's choose Charmander right here. It's quite energetic. Ha ha ha! Of course, it's probably not going to be a very popular uh, pick for many of you guys right here. So, are we going to nickname this Charmander? Yes, we are. Um, we're going to actually go with the nicknames that we had in Pokemon Yellow. So, now that we've already done a Pokemon Yellow walkthrough and it's, you know, in its completion, we will be, you know, getting nicknames, the same nicknames. Technically, these guys are still Generation 1 Pokemon, so I will not be abbreviating them by like 1, 2, or 3 or anything like that. So, Charmander, let's call him Godzilla, Godzilla, the return of the god. And uh, that's not how you spell it, right there. And uh, let's see, Godzilla. Why? Because uh, when I played Pokemon Blue for the first time, that's what I named him, Godzilla. Alrighty. So Godzilla's right there, and he's taking a, the water type Pokemon. He's like, I'll take this one then. So there we go. <laughs> He's got himself a Squirtle. Anywho, let's move on to the next thing, and that is we're going to be battling this guy. But before before we do any of that, let's go ahead and check out our, our Godzilla right here. So as you can see, Charmander, the fire type Pokemon, it has a calm nature, pretty good nature right there. It's a <laughs> its attack is not that strong right now, but it's pretty even now on special, special, or special attack, defense, and speed. Um, Blaze is its ability, and uh, it only has two moves right now, but eventually it will grow up to be a very, very powerful Pokemon right here. So, let's go right ahead and just like, you know, let's let's just battle this guy. I've really... I'm not looking forward to it, but it is what it is. Wait, Draven, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Hmm, okay, whatever. 
Alrighty, so here is our first battle against Gary, our rival, and he will be coming out with a Squirtle, of course, because he has to be the dick that bat. He... Yeah. So Oak's like, oh, for Pete's sake, so pushy as always. Private, you've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? Uh, yeah. I have quite a few times. I am the champion here, you know that. A Pokemon battle is when trainers pit their Pokemon against each other, and uh, the trainer makes the other trainer's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero wins. Wow, I can't even... Wow, that didn't even sound right. <laughs> but rather than talking about it, you should learn from experience. Try battling and see for yourself. Now, it kind of sounds like Professor Oak wants us to beat his net or his grandson, which is true because... <laughs> huge asshole. So here we go, scratch attack. And uh, inflicting damage on the foe is the key to any battle. Okay. And, uh, well, this is... Like any other, any other uh, rival battle, they're just gonna keep on lowering our stats before they beat us with one hit. But I'd rather go with straight up attacks right here. And there is that tackle attack that we don't want. So here we go, scratch attack again. There's a tackle. Oh my god! Come on! This Squirtle is uh, pretty strong. So last attack wins, and it does it. <laughs> it's not like Pokemon Yellow where I lost. <laughs> So Godzilla, Godzilla wins, and it grows to level six. That's right. How do you like me now, Gary? How do you like me now? And so there it is. We defeated rival Gary. He's like, what? Unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon. And there's some money right there, too. And of course, Professor Oak, he's like, hmm, excellent. If you win, you earn prize money, and your Pokemon will grow. Battle other trainers and make your Pokemon strong. OK, all righty. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle and toughen it up. Draven, Gramps, smell you later. Flipping you off, buddy. I'm flipping you off. Anywho, we're not stopping right here, guys. Believe it or not, we're actually going to do the whole, you know, parcel thing right now. That way, you know, we get it over and done with, you know, that kind of stuff. So let's go right ahead and just do that while I just talk about what I'm trying to do right here. So... If you guys remember, I did choose some questionable Pokemon uh, for Pokemon, uh, what was it, for Pokemon Leaf Green, my, my first Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough, like Dragonite. Yeah, uh, in this walkthrough, I will pretty much choose uh, the same Pokemon here and there. Some of the same Pokemon that I've had in the very first walkthrough, uh, except eh, I might change it up here and there for eh, various reasons and all that stuff. I might be alternating and whatnot. Hopefully I get the right team to beat this game and uh, yeah you know hopefully you guys like it a lot better than my first one if you guys remember if you guys have been here since the very beginning so as you can see we beat we beat that Pidgey pretty well and uh, we're, tr we're just gonna try and level up right here right now so let's go ahead and talk to this guy hi I work at the Pokemart it's a part of this convenient chain of selling of all sorts of items please visit us at in the Viridian City I know I'll give you a sample here you go and we get ourselves another potion, which is also good. And, uh, let's see. Well, I think I should just, uh, I should use that potion on Godzilla because, <laughs> yeah. Now, one of the great features about Pokemon Leaf Green is that this right here, where you can actually see if your Pokemon's affection is, uh, is, is good or not. I mean, if you guys know what I mean. And, uh, let's see. No more Pokemon right there, and uh, there's some ledges. I guess this guy will talk about the ledges right here. So let's see. See those ledges along the road? It's a bit scary, but you can jump from them. You can get back to Pallet Town quicker that way. That is true. And, uh, well, what do you know? We get attacked by another Pokemon right there. So here we go. Godzilla, let's go. Get it. Oh, yeah, and uh, that's, a, uh, that's a strong uh, Rattata right there. Okay. Let's see. Let's go right there with another scratch attack, and this guy is going with his tackle. Damn! Godzilla! Come on! You should do this. You should win this. And, uh, <laughs> come on, stop lowering my defense. Fight like a rat. And, uh, there you go. And, uh, hello, level 7 right there. Okay, okay. And we learn ourselves Ember, which is good because now it, it'll be a lot quicker just to beat everybody. So let's go right ahead and get to Viridian City and uh, see what we got right there. Let's see, what else? Left, right, right there, nothing. And uh, let's see these uh, trainer tips. The battle moves of Pokemon are limited by their power points, PP. To replenish PP, rest your tired Pokemon at the Pokemon Center, which we will be doing right now because 
you know, we've battled quite a few things here and there. So, here's Nurse Joy, she's looking lovely as always, and we're just, you know, healing up our Pokemon, feeling good. Gattaca, that's right. Alrighty. Um, let's see, there's nothing else that we can do right here. Now, there are, there's maybe one thing that we can do, and that is the other potion that we can find right here. Uh, here we are in Viridian City, the eternally green paradise. As you can see, there's somebody lying along the road, and if you try to pass them, this guy is being an asshole saying, I absolutely forbid you from going through here. This is private property. Okay, alrighty. Oh, Grandpa, don't be so mean. I'm sorry, he hasn't had his coffee yet. Now, in the original versions, you guys probably know, yeah, he, he, he hasn't had his little glug glug, uh, his little, uh, you know, his, uh, his good, uh, good time, uh, chalice and all that stuff. Now, here is the potion right here, and uh, that's another free potion that we can actually have. And uh, now, we can't capture Pokemon just yet, but you can go through another route right here to the Pokemon League. Or you can just go ahead and talk to a bunch of people right here, which I won't do. I'm just going to go straight to the uh, Pokemart and get myself that little item that we need because, you know, why not? And, uh, hey, you came from Pellet Town. You know, you know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get, or can I get you to take it for, to him? Yes, I can because I have no other choice. No choice whatsoever right there, it's Oak's Parcel. Talk to this guy, he's like, oh, okay. Please say hi, Professor Oak, or please say hi to Professor Oak for me. Ah, uh, okay, I will. Anywho, going left, going right, and uh, that doesn't really change anything else. We still have to go to Professor Oak for this kind of stuff. Oh, God. This thing brings back a lot of memories, guys. I know that I've, I've attempted this walkthrough twice, especially right before I was about to become Gym Leader Draven, but I'm sticking with this one, and trust me guys, it's a weekend only thing, and just to make things a lot quicker, uh, you guys can already see right here, no sidebars, there's only just, you know, only going to see a map here and there about what you can see, <laughs> that kind of stuff, I have to be very informational guys. And uh, that is pretty much it right there for Professor Oak's Parcel. We just got to go to the go to the lab, and uh, here we are. Oh, Draven, how is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more intense to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. Yes, I am. What's that? You have something for me? Yes, I do. And there it is. We give him the Oak's Parcel, which is uh, always a good thing. And he's like, ah, it's the custom Pokeball. I had it uh, on order. Thank you. And, uh, <laughs> well, what do you know? Gary Oak. Dickhead extraordinary. He's like, I almost forgot. What did you call me for? He's like wondering, oh. Oh, right. I have a request for you two. And as you can see, he's like, on this desk here is my invention, the Pokedex. I automatically, rec or it automatically records data on Pokemon that you've seen or caught. It's a high, seg or high tech encyclopedia. Hmm. Draven, Gary, take these with you. Okay, alrighty. So we get ourselves the Oaks, uh, the Pokédex right here, and he's like, "You can't get the uh, de or you can't get detailed de uh, data on Pokémon by just seeing them. You must catch them and uh, to obtain their complete data." So here are some tools for catching wild Pokémon, and uh, look at that. We get ourselves five Pokéballs right there. Save ourselves some money right there, and uh, when a wild Pokémon appears, it is fair game. Just throw a Pokeball and, and it, or just throw a Pokeball at it, and it will uh, try and catch it. This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape, and you you just have to be lucky <laughs> to complete the guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That is my dream, but I'm too old. I can't get to I can't get the job done. Really? Because I just saw you at Sinnoh. I, I'm just you know I'm just throwing that out there right now. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Gary's like, all right, all right, Gramps, leave it up to me. Draven, I hate to say it, but you won't be, it won't be, or you won't be necessary for this. I know, I'll borrow a town mount from my sister. I'll tell her not to lend you one. <laughs> uh, okay, I hate you, Draven. No, I hate you, Gary. <laughs> Don't bother coming around to my place after this. Yeah, whatever. Anywho, that completes our very first episode of our Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough, guys. The Saturday edition. Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. 
more episode or another episode will be coming tomorrow. So stay tuned, guys. See you guys.